Good morning, everybody. Today's book is Fluffy Goes to Washington. President Fluffy. Fluffy went home with Max for, with Maxwell for President's Day weekend. Maxwell's family drove to Washington, D.C. to visit Maxwell's cousin, Abby. Fluffy went too. Maxwell's sister, Violet, sang the whole way there. Fluffy Wuffy is a piggy eye E-I-E-I-O, it was a long trip. When Maxwell's family got to Washington, Abby and her mom and dad ran out to the car. Welcome, they said. Hi, Maxwell, said Abby. Hi, Violet. Hey, who is this? This is Fluffy, said Maxwell. Abby picked up Fluffy. Eleanor and Franklin will love you, she said. Everybody loves me, thought Fluffy. Abby cried, Fluffy... Sorry, Abby carried Fluffy to her room. Maxwell carried his food. Violet carried his treats. Fluffy, this is Franklin, said Abby. She patted a brown gerbil. He is named after Franklin Roosevelt. Roosevelt was president of the United States more than 50 years ago. And this is Eleanor, said Abby. She patted a honey-colored gerbil. She is named after the first lady, Eleanor Roosevelt. Hi, guys, thought Fluffy. Maxwell gave Fluffy food and water. Violet gave him treats. You will stay here tomorrow while we go to go see Washington, Maxwell told Fluffy. No fair, thought Fluffy. I want to see Washington too. The kids ran off to have pizza. Eleanor and Franklin came over to Fluffy's cage. What president are you named after? asked Eleanor. Uh, said Fluffy. President Fluffy, he said. There was no President Fluffy, said Franklin. Too bad, said Fluffy. He liked the sound of it, President Fluffy. There was President Washington and Eleanor and President Adams and President Jefferson and Franklin and President Lincoln and President Teddy Roosevelt, said Eleanor. Don't forget him. Eleanor and Franklin went on and on. They named president after president. By morning, Fluffy had heard enough. He climbed on top of the wheel in his cage. He jumped onto the desk. Then he hurried over to Maxwell's backpack and ran inside. Look out, Washington, he thought. Here I come. Hello, Mr. President. Later, Abby took Maxwell and Violet to the mall. Let's start with the National Air and Space Museum, she said. They walked into a big building. Wow, said Maxwell. There's the Kitty Hawk fire. Kitty Hawk, thought Fluffy. That sounded like a very scary animal. Fluffy peeked out of the backpack. Fluffy, Wuffy, said Violet. Get me out of here, thought Fluffy. Fluffy, said Maxwell. How did you? Abby laughed. I guess he wants to see Washington, too, she said. I've seen enough, thought Fluffy. Maxwell held Fluffy up to see the Kitty Hawk flyer. It was not a scary animal. It was a machine with two long wings. This is the first, the very first airplane, said Abby. Maxwell showed him Apollo 11. That took men to the moon, he said. Cool, thought Fluffy. Washington isn't too so bad. After a while, Abby said, let's go to the Washington monu Monument. They waited in a long line. At last, they got on an elevator. Fluffy felt himself going up, up, up. He got a funny feeling in his tummy. At last, they stepped out of the elevator. He, We are in the tallest building in Washington, said Abby. Maxwell and F held Fluffy up to the window. Fluffy looked out. Ah, he thought. Fluffy shut his eyes. He did not open them again until they were back on the ground. Oh, Fluffy's afraid of heights. We have time to see the Lincoln Memorial, said Abby. I hope it's not tall, thought Fluffy. They walked by the reflecting pool. Duck swam in it. Hello, duckies, thought Fluffy. Here it is, said Abby. Maxwell held Fluffy up. This is President Ab Abram Le Sorry. This is pre President Abraham Lincoln, he said. Fluffy saw a statue of a big man sitting in a big chair. Hello, President, thought Fluffy. Abe Lincoln fought a war to keep our country together, said Abby. He was a great man. Fluffy looked up at Mr. Lincoln. So this is a president, he thought. Fluffy thought he looked very kind, but he looked worried too. 
Being president must be a hard job, thought Fluffy. When they got home, Maxwell and Fluffy Maxwell put Fluffy back into his cage. Where have you been? said Eleanor. I've been to see the president, said Fluffy. President Abe Lincoln Lincoln. Oh, right, said Franklin. Fluffy snuggled down in his straw. If I were named after a president, he said, I think I would like to be called Abe. Fluffy at the White House. Wake up, Fluffy, said Violet. I'm going to take you to the White House, but shh, it's a secret. What's the big deal about a White House, thought Fluffy. You won't get in, Franklin said, as Violet picks Fluffy up. No, said Eleanor. They will never let a pig in the White House. Oh, yeah, thought Fluffy. Well, you don't know this pig. Violet, Abby, and Maxwell stood in line for the White House tour. Violet kept Fluffy hidden, hidden in her backpack. He peeked out of a small opening, but he could not see much. A man on the lawn had a life-size cardboard cutout of the president. A woman stood next to the cutout. Snap, the man took her picture. In the picture, it looked as if the woman was standing with the president. Let's do that, said Maxwell. The kids ran over to the man with the camera. Violet put down her backpack. Fluffy peeked out. He saw a white house. Take the white house. Take the white mouse white house tour. The mouse said, why not? Thought Fluffy. Fluffy allowed the mouse to followed the mouse through a mouse hole into the white house. They ran through a tunnel. They stopped at a small hole. Take a peek at the white house library, said the mouse. Fluffy peeked. He saw a room with many, many books. They were all by American writers, said the mouse. So many books, thought Fluffy. The mouse showed Fluffy the green room and the blue room and the red room for a white house, thought Fluffy. It sure has lots of colors. Now for the white house pets, said the mouse. He showed Fluffy a picture of a dog named Fala and a dog named Melly. Millie had puppies in the White House, said the mouse. The mouse showed Fluffy a picture of a mockingbird and a raccoon named Rebecca. The pets in the other picture belonged to President Teddy Roosevelt, said the mouse. Fluffy looked. His eyes grew big. It was a picture of two guinea pigs, all right. All right, said Fluffy. White House pigs. After one more stop, the White House with the White Mouse White House tour ended. Fluffy popped out of a mouse hole. At the same time, Maxwell, Violet, and Abby came out of their White House tour. Fluffy, said Maxwell, how did you? I'll never tell, thought Fluffy. Back at Abby's house, Maxwell put Fluffy into his cage. Eleanor and Franklin came over. You didn't get into the White House, did you, said Eleanor. Yes, I did, said Fluffy. All right, said Franklin. I can prove it, said Fluffy. All right, said Eleanor. And Franklin, ta-da, said Fluffy. Fluffy smiled. A picture, he thought, is worth a thousand words. All right, guys, we're going to take our practice quiz. You have 10 seconds to answer. Where did Maxwell's family go to visit his cousin? Pennsylvania, Florida, or Washington, D.C.? 10 seconds. If you said Washington, D.C., good job. Who is Franklin? Hamster, gerbil, rat, or mouse? 10 seconds. If you said Franklin was a gerbil, good job. Who is Franklin named after? Franklin Roosevelt, Frank the Tank, Franklin Jackson, Franklin the Turtle. 10 seconds. If you said he was named after the president, Franklin Roosevelt, you got it. Good job. Who is Eleanor? Franklin's friend, Fluffy's friend, or Maxwell's sister? 10 seconds. If you said Franklin's friend, then you got it. Good job. Okay, that was our 
practice quiz and I highly suggest that you go back and reread the book at least two more times before you take the test. It is quite long. Um, it is best to read, read the book a couple times so you really know the answers when you take your test. So now we're going to go ahead and bring up the quiz number. Your quiz number is going to be... One three seven four seven eight. Again, it's one three seven four seven eight. You guys have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful Easter, and I will see you guys on Monday. And thank you for being here. Bye.